So on this video, I want to talk about a big marketing mistake that all hypnotherapists, coaches, and NLP is really making. And I'm sure logging onto a video right now and saying the big mistake, guys, this is really important. So please watch this. One of the biggest marketing mistakes I see, and it's probably causing you as a hypnotherapist to lose a lot of money and a lot of cash, is one thing. Inside your marketing, talking to your potential clients about who you were trained by. Here's the funny thing, guys. It's not really funny. Here's the thing you should realize. Clients don't care about your gurus, guys. Clients don't care about how many books you've read, what courses you've done, what your certification is, who trained you in it, how many personal development events you've been to, and all of that stuff. Why? Because it's the last thing on your client's mind. Whenever I'm doing marketing, wherever I'm teaching my students to do marketing, I'm doing marketing for my hypnosis company, I'm not thinking about me. I'm not thinking about my mentor. I'm not thinking about any of those things. I'm thinking about what is my client doing at the middle of the night, stressed out, anxious, worried? What are they thinking about? Do you think a client that's been smoking for, I don't know, 30 years is worried about who my mentor was or worried about how many books I've read or what personal development um, course I've just been to or what I call myself, who my gurus are? No, they don't care about any of that stuff. And that's the one thing I see hypnotherapists really struggling with is to get out of their own head about their business being about them. Believe it or not, to take it further, your clients don't care about you. If your clients cared about your guru, it's probably because they want to become a therapist or a coach or something themselves. Think about it for yourself. Before you wanted to become a coach, a therapist, whatever it is, did you care about those gurus? No, I'm in the industry and I don't care about those gurus. Why? Because I don't need to. It has no impact on my life. If I have problems in my life, I'll go look for those gurus. I'll go look for those people. It doesn't mean solving my problem is going to convince other people that they should join my course or pay money for what I do because of those people. So if all your marketing is, I was trained by this person, guys, stop it. If your marketing is, I was trained by this person, I'm now NLP qualified, I'm now hypnosis qualified, I'm advanced coaching this, stop it. Clients do not care. If your marketing on top of that is all about you, stop it. Clients don't care. Clients don't care about you or your gurus, and they don't know the difference between Joe Blogs and Jane Blogs, if that's who your gurus are. Your marketing needs to be about your clients, guys. What's their experience? What do you know about their problem? What are the results you can get? What's the proof that you have? Let's say I've trained by, I don't know, Tony Robbins, the first guru off the top of my head. That has no impact to a smoker who wants to quit after 40 years. By saying that, now the smoker says, well, who the hell is that guy? I don't care. What they're looking for is how what's the depth of knowledge that Scott has? Is he everywhere on social media, which gives me a lot of trust? And what are the results? That's basically it. The biggest thing is proof, guys. Just because you were trained by X, Y, and Z does not prove that you can solve a client's problem. And I get it, guys. Unfortunately, there are going to be gurus out there that say you should market your business by saying you were trained by me. But let's take a back step here, guys. What's really happening? Let's be honest here. Let's use logic here. All that trainer that guru wants is more people on their course. So they're having you promote their business to you. Sure, it's pretty obvious now looking at it, but a lot of people are still going to make those mistakes, guys. Trust me when I say this, don't worry about who you were trained by. Stop talking about it. Clients don't care. Clients want to know you can get them results. And because a client has anxiety for 30 years, doesn't mean because you were trained by X, Y, and Z, doesn't mean that you can solve the problem for them. Marketing is a big thing, guys, with therapists and coaches that they don't do correctly. But it's the only way to get clients, guys. And I'm talking about organic. I'm talking about paid. By sitting there talking about yourself, your experience, your story, who you were trained by, all of those things, that's all about you and that's your ego. Break free from the ego, guys, and start talking about your clients. Start talking about their problems, what you can do for them, and show them a ton of results, guys, and prove that you can actually do what you're saying you can do, not about who you were trained by over and over. And I'm repeating myself here, guys, to drill it into you. Stop worrying about who your gurus are. Clients don't care. Bye for now, guys.